truth of the proclamations. And this shall become your certainty that my gift of grace can never be distorted by you as long as you are so united with me that the reception of my word is the result of heartfelt prayer, that you ask me for spiritual enlightenment and trustingly approach me, asking for my support in earthly and spiritual adversity. The call of your Father in heaven protects you from erroneous thoughts from misrepresenting what you have received and from a lack of understanding of what my spirit imparts to you. You can confidently make my word your own, you can advocate it as purest truth and make it the guiding principle of your daily life, you need not fear that I allow misguidance through evil forces, just as you must never assume that I indifferently face earthly hardship and leave you in it, for this would call my great love for you into question. But I only want your happiness and my word shall help you to live a blissful life. Through my word I will never mislead a person but I will try to lead a misguided person to the truth, and thus my word must be truth. And the fact that it is my word is evident from the fact that I only ever admonish you to love, because if you follow my admonitions you will also recognize clearly and brightly that you can only have contact with bright spirits because love never wants to harm or allows harm. If you practice active neighborly love yourselves then you will also be fully convinced of the originator of the spiritual mission and there will no longer be any doubt in you. For who should admonish you to love if not he who is love himself? You can certainly make a distinction between spiritual and earthly announcements but never consider the latter impossible as long as I, as your guide and advisor, have also taken charge of your earthly life and thus instruct you spiritually what you should and should not do. I have also promised you my earthly help, and since I want you to come to the Father like children with all your concerns and needs I will also answer you like a loving Father and help you where my help is required. And therefore don't doubt the truth of my word but accept everything as given by me and live according to it, and you will live according to my will, you will not take wrong paths but constantly be guided by me until the end of your life. Amen.